Regional work. Should you want to do it? I mean, it got some pros, it got some cons to it. So let me go ahead and talk about my time with regional work. If you don't know what regional work is for a truck driver, essentially it's really anything over a certain amount of miles. So technically anything over 150 miles is considered over the road. Really, there's technically regional work where you could be back in the same day, but nobody's really considering that actual regional work, are you? You know, most regional work is where you're going to be gone at least five days out of the week, and then you'll be back for two days. Really, you'll probably be back for like your 34 hour reset, and then people want you to get up out of there as soon as your reset is done. So you're not getting a full 48 hours at some of these places you know not everybody's like that of course at any rate like i said i've done regional work i didn't do the four five six days out and then come and be home for like 34 hours that wasn't for me what i did instead was i would be out for one night and then come back the next day i leave tuesday i come back wednesday or i leave Tuesday and I'll come back Thursday. The most I've done was two days. I never did uh, three days or plus. So yeah, like one day I went to Erie, Pennsylvania from, from Virginia. That was two days. Um, another one was Atlanta, Georgia. That was another two day period. And then I went to, uh, I did a couple. I, I did Chicago one time. That was two days and I came back. So yeah, I did a few of them. I'd say overall, probably like 10, give or take. But for the most part, like I said, everything was one night. I go up to Pennsylvania. Like I'll go up to York, go to Philadelphia and come back. Go, go to New Jersey, come back. Delaware, stuff like that. So those weren't that bad like i did that with two different jobs um one i did that job doing flowers at a place called white's nursery and then another one i was at nash finch delivering to commissaries and then other stuff like that but as far as nash finch is concerned i might as well do a separate video on my time with Nash Finch. Hey, now me now I'm thinking about it. I even did it at um, QCD when I was doing food service. I did a couple overnights there when I had to deliver to uh, Starbucks. Shoot, I forgot all about that, man. That one was not that great, you know. But uh, yeah, I'll talk about that a little more later. I mean, essentially, essentially, it was actually not that bad from when I had to do regional work with that one. You know, technically you would leave uh, Saturday night, like around 10, and then be at Starbucks in West Virginia around, uh, earliest you would be is like around six or seven. And then you got like four stops you gotta do up there. And then after that, you would, you know, sit at a hotel or you would do your layover at a hotel, maybe do one more Starbucks, after that and then be on your way back you're driving at night so there's not a lot of traffic and in the morning you're just chilling at a nice hotel it was like a hilton or something like that because that was the like the last starbucks that you had to deliver to that day and then they usually would have a room for you like sometimes you had to go up to the front they didn't have the room ready as far as not as far as the hilton not having a room ready as far as the company didn't actually, you know, set up a room yet, stuff like that. So that was annoying, you know, but overall, you know, it was what it was. So the last thing I got to say about these jobs, just like what I was talking about with QCD, as far as having a hotel at these other one night places when, you know, I'm staying overnight for one day or two days, I would get a hotel. You know, the company paid for the hotel. I'm usually in a day cab, but with Nash Finch, I wasn't even in a day cab all the time. But they gave us a card, you know, that you know gave them discounts 
at certain hotels that they stay at. But Weiss Nursery, you just had a a DM, like maybe like $150 or something like that, that you can go ahead and just stay at that hotel. Whatever hotel that's in that budget, just go ahead and stay there. And then they give you like $25 to, you know, use for, for food. So at the very least, if you, you know, had some discipline, you didn't have to come out of pocket on food. So that was that. Um, like I said, my regional work <laughs> was a lot different than this other regional work that people be having to use. What do you think overall from what I've told you at this particular point in time? Do you feel like regional work can work for you? I didn't use that as a pun intentionally, but do you feel like you could do it? Would you say the criteria that I had for when I was doing regional work, would you say you lean towards that or do you just want to be out five days a week and you ain't really got no other uh, preferences or requirements for a job? Maybe you just want to be the stereotypical out five days a week, sleeping in your truck, going to, you know, truck stops, the shower, all that good stuff. Maybe you want to do that. I don't know. But let me know in the comment section. And of course, if you like the video, then make sure to leave a comment down below and also like the video so other people know this was something worth listening to. Thanks for watching.